So I finally got my hands on one of these DJI Mini 2s. Uh, I had the DJI Mavic Mini 1. Um, for some reason, they dropped the Mavic and they just named it Mini 2. This is the aerial camera bundle. I got this at Costco for, I believe, uh, 430, was it? Something along those lines. For me, personally, I'm into shooting recreationally, uh, semi-professional. Um, I do know some people with uh, properties on Airbnb. Sometimes they hire me to take footage here and there. Let's get rid of this. Take footage here and there of their properties uh, to put on their sites like Airbnb or other hosting websites. Um, the footage I got from the Mavic Mini 1 was more than good for websites like that, uh, Instagram and whatever have you. Um, comes with a nice bag. Wow. I like that. This looks like a waterproofish kind of plastic bag. Uh, I had to fly more combo for the DJ Mavic Mini, which came with a pretty nice bag as well. But this looks like more premium quality. I like that. Let's get into this. Nothing else in there. Empty. Let's open this. Gotta say, I'm kind of impressed with the way this is packaged. It's very uh, convenient. Okay, so it's similar to the Mavic Mini 1 in the aspect of how it came out of the packaging, right? As a step-by-step -step, uh, labeling and what's what and how to open up the actual craft. Last time I got, I opened up the Mavic Mini, I opened one of these um, arms before I opened up the top one. And it's important to note that you gotta swing this from the bottom and then open up the top swivel because you can break it if you try to open up, open it in the wrong uh, sequence. Just my take on it. All right, so what is this? Some little foam thing at the bottom for cushioning. What do we have in here? All right, so we got what looks like a battery and some cabling on this side. Let's go ahead and open that up. Jeez, are you going to make this impossible for me? Okay, so we have propellers, backup propellers, it's in packaging, I don't know if you can see that. And we also have propellers that come on the craft, so those are extras, right? Always good to have extra when it comes to drones, I learned that the hard way. Um, so these look like the connectors that go from the actual controller to the phone. This time around, I'm gonna be using my iPhone XR. For some reason, I don't know, it just, the Apple uh, phone seem a little bit more friendly when it comes to um, drone controller interfaces. I don't know why, but a lot of these products are geared to be used or direct, are more leaning towards um, being used with iPhones. So we can open this guy because these are actually the sticks for the controller, which I'll be taking out in a second. Nice. This is actually, I'll open this, I'll use a razor. This is actually a screwdriver to get the propellers on and off of the craft. That razor blade is really sharp. I shouldn't be using that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it comes with a nice um, 
mini uh, Phillips screwdriver to get these propellers on and off pretty easily. I only changed them once on my Mavic Mini. And speaking of my Mavic Mini, I was able to sell it on um, OfferUp. I don't know why I'm plugging OfferUp, but um, it's good if you want to get rid of like old drones and stuff like that. They sell literally in, in one day. Old camera stuff and drone stuff sell really fast on OfferUp. Uh, eBay been having a lot of scams lately, so I'm trying to stay away from eBay for a little while. And if you must use eBay, I would go with um, Signature is, is a must for verification of a package being delivered because I got my pants scammed off uh, on a couple of products. eBay is very, very consumer friendly, but they don't give a crap about the um, sellers. All right, so we finally got the controller. What else is in here? Just a bunch of fluff. Let's get rid of that fluff. I like fluff around here. More fluff, yay. I'm, I gotta say, man, this bag is legit. <laughs> this bag is legit. That is a cool looking bag. That is nice, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, DJI. Okay, so we got a little some um uh, I don't know what you do with these. I never use them. <laughs> Manuals and stuff, but no, no. You gotta read your manual manuals, especially when it comes to flying safely. And uh, I'm gonna make up a word, non non stupidly flying. <laughs> a lot of people get themselves into troubles with the, with these things um, because. It's cool. It's a cool thing to have, especially for millennials. Uh, we always dreamed about flying. Like, the, you, you young people don't know what you have here because um, in order for you to fly a radio control car, um, uh, vehicle, plane, uh, helicopter, etc., back in the day, it took so much money, so much effort. You really had to understand yin and yaw and all this kind of... Um, really uh aerodynamics and um just the science behind flying now you just get one of these things and you plug your phone in and then you all of a sudden you're flying five miles away from you where you are and you're out of line of sight and you can get yourself in some real problems because um yeah there's a lot of laws against these things because people are idiots when it comes to uh reading the laws and the manuals so i advise you to read the laws and the manuals in your locality and finally um excuse me uh find the the safest and the most efficient way to use and enjoy your craft that being said look at this controller this feels nice ah back here is rubberized it feels very nice um yeah, it's a totally different format from the other controller. The other controller had the housing for the the phone down here. Down here, and it would squeeze in with like a... Um, they had like some grips on the handles that would actually hold your phone in place. So I'm interested to find out how this one's going to work. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> intuitive. All right, pretty intuitive. Um... All right, there we go. I I I haven't looked. I'm be honest with you. I haven't looked at any unboxing. I'm Joe, totally going off the cuff right right now, and this is what I'm just. It's just that intuitive. It, it, it's just very practical the way you have it set up. So I'm guessing your phone goes in here. Boom, connectivity hardwired into the controller, and I don't think I had to open up these sticks because. Look down here, we got sticks already. So those are backup sticks, all right? So let me screw these in. And I'm probably not gonna take those out because I don't wanna lose them. I'm probably gonna put these in a Ziploc bag in this thing right here and use these as my main sticks. Okay, okay. All right, so, wow. Look right here, it's um the actual modes can be switched by a hard switch instead of going into the uh, menu on the actual DJI software, which is kind of cool because there was sometimes I'd, I'd fumble around 
especially if I'm realizing that my battery is low on the Mavic Mini, I'd fumble around in the, in the menu and burn however much fuel I have left to get back to my um, location. You know, right here, I just, boom. It'll get in sport mode. I need to get home right now. Let's get home right now. All right. This looks like the, the camera control. And this looks like the button to press record or take a picture. All right. FN, I'm not sure what that means yet. This looks like a return home. And that is a power uh, button, okay? So it's just a, uh, all right. Charging port, USB-C, amazing, looks great. Pretty simple, return home button right here pretty simple I used to have a unique drone that looked like uh, you're flying a SpaceX um, <laughs> you're at the helm of a SpaceX uh, spaceship you know this is very simplified and again this is so easy a toddler can do it a child can do it and it's easy to get yourself in trouble but you want to really make sure that you know how to control and understand this uh, device because um it's easy to get in trouble like i said you know all right so up next i am going to give you guys a few uh photographs and pictures and uh video footage of various stuff i'm just gonna film and see what kind of quality i get out of this drone they said it was it, it is a 4k um camera so I'm looking forward to see the difference in the 4K um, quality than the the 2K that's on the previous model. So I, uh, you know, interested in seeing what that turns out to look like. Um, yeah, from what I know, from what I've noticed, um, it's not too much different from the Mavic Mini in, in terms of its the actual body of the craft itself. It looks the same. It's still 2.49 grams under the legal limit that you need to register with the FAA if I'm not mistaken um, yeah this is my fourth drone um, I'm coming from the AR drone days uh, that were just, it's just totally different in terms of connectivity range and etc I had a unique drone um, Typhoon H and then I had a Mavic Mini, and now I have a Mavic Mini 2. So I will be back with some footage and lots of cool stuff. Show you how it works. All right, peace.